What is up, Instafam? Um, it's been a minute since I went live. I think it was like last week. I'm doing another unboxing today. So as you guys come in, I'll probably repeat this a couple times. But we are going to be doing an unboxing for X Coaster today. I'm very excited. And as usual, you guys feel free to ask me any questions about the series we're doing or acting or filmmaking in general. And I will gladly answer them. Let me just pin this. Boom. All right, guys. So another live. I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to be doing these once a week if things uh, stay consistent. So Xcoaster sent me another thing to unbox. I'm going to dive into that pretty soon. But if you guys have questions about any of our Power Ranger series, the new Ninja Turtle series we're doing, uh, upcoming conventions with NerdBot, please feel free to ask. Uh, but in between the questions, I'm going to be unboxing this. What is up, RV Cosplay? What up? What up? So you guys, I see some people coming in. Uh, and uh, I'll just dive into the unboxing. I can answer some questions in the meantime. At Fan Expo Boston this past weekend, I saw Tom slash the Reverse Flash at Fan Expo. Very cool. Uh, Seth says, let's just jump into it. All right. Let's jump into it. Boom. So Xcoaster has been working with me on uh, more helmets and masks type stuff. Hi, guys. Hello, everyone. And this one, uh, I did a little sneak peek because I wanted to know what I was... I was uh, Kind of getting myself into. I like knowing what what it's going to be, but it's been a surprise until I open it. I see some hellos. Brennan says, "Hey, is that my grandpappy in the background?" Yes, it is. BK Tom Jerry says, "Oh, look, it's my favorite actor." I mean, Grant. I mean, me. All right. So I already opened one slice of it just to uh, check out what it is, but I'm going to finish it right now. Okay. Do not cut towards yourself, even though I just did that. Whoops. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions about anything, all of our series or the parties or the, the conventions or what my plans are or filmmaking in general, please feel free. Okay, so I don't know who out there is watching Titans, but this season has been the best season so far. And I think a big part of that is Red Hood. That villain is five steps ahead of everyone and really, really different, different style of doing his story. I'm talking about you, Colin. It's my favorite actor, Colin. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. So, without any further ado, this is X Coaster's Red Hood helmet. Now, I believe it's based off the most recent video game. It's not based off the show. But I think Red Hood's popularity is about to get um, peak because of the show and Gotham Knights coming out. Hey, Colin, you are the best. Thank you. What a nice comment. So, this is X Coaster's. Whoa. Okay. Okay, X Coaster. Damn, that looks great. Right, so this is X Coaster's One Piece Red Hood mask. Now, I think it's from the latest Batman game, I'm not sure, but regardless, Red Hood has so many different versions of his helmet, you can make it work for anything. You can even do your own custom Red Hood. So, whenever I do these lives, I always try it on. Uh, this is made out of resin, it's very sturdy. You can see it's padded on the inside. And I'm gonna test it on, test it out right now. So here we go, Red Hood mode. Very easy to put on and off, which I love. For any of you guys that wear Ranger helmets, it is not that easy. But uh, this Red Hood thing, so it's very comfortable. I can see through it. There's lenses on the on the eyes sections, if you can see, but it's pretty easy to see through. Solid, solid, solid work, and uh, X Coaster continues to impress. So, if you guys have any questions, please let me know about this, and I'll show you any parts of it. But um, X Coaster just keeps surprising me. Last week we went over the Mandalorian helmet, which also is super impressive. And again, it's another one piece, but man, it's it's solid, it's comfortable, it's visible, just keeps getting better. And I don't have it here, it's up at the studio, but they made their first uh, Purple Wolf Ranger helmet, and that really impressed me as well. All right, here we go. Sorry, let me get to some questions, and then I'm just gonna, I, gotta, I gotta plug this a few times, it's part of the deal, you know? Oh my god, that helmet looks so cool, and is that Red Hood? Yes, it is Red Hood, I think it's from the new video game. If anyone knows which Red Hood this is, please let me know, and I will plug it. Danielle and I, we text each other. Danielle and I, we text each other. I I don't know who Danielle is right off the top of my head, so please remind me. 
What was your favorite episode of Reverse Flash Origins? Probably season one finale. I loved finally getting ye to yell at Flash. Um, and like, you know, kind of embrace my destiny as being evil. But yeah, that was my favorite. Dope Helmet, thank you, thank you. Here we go. I like the almost Daredevil texture on it. Have you written any new Reverse Flash Origins episodes? Yeah, there is some nice texturing on there. Yes, so... As you know, we're doing a lot of different uh, series at once. It's kind of one of those things where if something does well, we'll continue doing it. If it doesn't do well, then we kind of wait for the fans to get excited and rally and make us want to finish it, which uh, that's kind of just keeps the team excitement, the morale up. Um, but yes, I have a whole thing written, and I filmed my first green screen super speed scene uh, through the negative speed force, and that is in post-production, so... We're going to release that, and if the hype is real, we're going to go finish that finale of Reverse Flash. Power Rangers Beast Morphers. You guys are just shouting shows at me. I like it. Can I see the inside of the helmet? Yes, Jez. Here you go. So the inside is padded, and then you can see the eyes are tinted, but still very visible. That's my thumb. And, yeah, it's really comfy. One piece. Um, the breathability is just, like, straight through the bottom, so pretty go-to. Pretty straight. So now you can cosplay as Jason from the Power Rangers Justice League comic. Why, does he become Red Hood? Colin, go to the gun range to practice shooting with firearms. He can practice his Red Hood. Oh, I'm, I don't think I'm playing Red Hood anytime soon. Well, I don't know about that. That's actually... Because we're doing that new found footage series, so you never know. Christopher says, what's up, bro? Do you remember me? No, I'm sorry I do not. But if you have a cool story or anything that will remind me, I would love to hear it. Which classic DC TV series do you like? Smallville or Gotham? Smallville, to the day I die. There's a little Smallville poster right there. Came out during the season 10 finale, I believe. On, in just some magazine. And I still have it. Super dope. Great question, though. But yeah, so this is the Red Hood from Xcoaster. I pinned the Xcoaster Instagram right there, but you can check out all their work at xcoaster.com. Um, they've got everything from Power Rangers, DC, Marvel, Star Wars everything you could possibly need and they do commission based work so you can get whatever you need um yep all the rangers dress up as dc characters in that comic cool dude i'll look into it comic-con 2018 you were the reverse flash yes yes i do remember that it was very hot that day long story short jason and the other rangers were blocked from their power so the justice league gave them some equipment that's dope i'm gonna look into that philly comic-con i was at philly comic-con that was awesome when are we doing my Ambush Bug Meets Detective Chimp fan film? Kurt, the day you give me a non-obscure character, we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> uh, Andrew says, in all of your series, do you like playing the hero more or the villain? Um, I've only really played the villain once, I think. Yeah. I, li I like the hero, but I like the hero that kind of breaks the rules. That's my favorite. It's, hey, kind of like this guy. But they were making him super evil in Titans. Uh, Brown says, could you go 24 hours wearing that hood? If you pay me enough, maybe, but no, uh, no, I mean, it's comfortable, don't get me wrong, but not 24 hours. And when I'm sleeping, I might knock it off. RV Cosplay says, what's next when we're getting the next episode of your series? The next episode will probably be Shattered Past, and we're working on getting that out by December, but uh, a lot of stuff's in post-production, and we're filming a new series this Saturday. But, uh, other than that, it's just, we're preparing for... Uh, conventions, after parties, and we're, we've got a lot of things started in our different series. Bloodlines in, in production, Shad Pass in production. Um, uh, Rise is paused because Will's over in Florida. And Reverse Flash Origins has stuff in post-production, so it's a little bit of everything. Character selects in production. Is that Bright Burn Hood? No, this is Red Hood. I know who you are. Did you see the season finale of The Flash? No, I'm, I stopped watching The Flash uh, I only really check in for the new characters or crossovers. Good day, Colin. How's it going, mate? And good morning from Australia. It's going great. It's a little hot over here in California, but I'm just showing off this red hood helmet and repping an Xcoaster. That has a spot on my wall now. Will Blue Time Force Ranger return in Shattered Past future episodes? Yes, Chris Villain, for sure. He'll be there. Uh, Brown K says, you going to Morphicon in 2022. You bet it. I'll be in my Sam jacket. Damn, y'all busy. Can't wait to see what you and Unworthy are doing. Yeah, Unworthy sent me a little screenshot of what they have planned for my character in this episode. So, more Omega Power, the better. Um, 
Whatever happened to found footage? We are filming ep two of found footage, which is Ninja Turtles, this Saturday. If you could have any of your powers that you had in series in real life, what would you choose? Uh, probably Reverse Flash, the super speed. I love the super speed. Hello, hello, I see some hellos. Will we see more Psycho Rangers? Yes, you will. You absolutely will. Are you still open to consulting for other series? Asking for myself. If so, I'll DM you. Yeah, I, um, sure, man. Like, hit me up. I'm, it's, I've done some consulting for some series that never came out, so I'm a little, a little skeptical, but I'd be, I'd be interested to talk to you about it for sure. Will we see you as new Rangers soon? No, I think two is enough for me. And then Sam from Bloodline will be the R1 Omega, which DJ and I are working on. So that's that's enough Rangers. I, I only really wanted to be one, but then Shadow Pass happened, and then Bloodline, and we just we're kind of doing a little bit of everything, and it's been fun playing Sam and uh, Jackson in two different series. Uh, Brown says, if you don't like the Flash, then why do you have the poster? Because I liked early Flash. Very easy question. What new weapons will we see soon on Shattered Pass? Um, what are we printing? I can't, I don't think I can tell you. I can't tell you that. But next episode's Ninja Storm themed. Alright, when is the Digimon fan series coming out? As soon as possible, I hope. I really hope. Hoping to see Nova SPD Ranger in her Ranger form in future episodes in Bloodline. Me too. What happened to you playing RPM Black? That was just for a uh, jacket ad. It was just a like a commercial thing. When you wear the cosplay suits when you're filming, does it get hot? Also, how much do the cosplay suits cost? Yeah, it gets really hot, and they vary in price. Power Rangers Shattered Pass and Reverse Flash Origins are amazing. Thank you. Anime Pasadena asks, Will you be at the Ranger Legacy event at Anime Pasadena? Yes, let me plug that. So... This Thursday is a anime night at Nerd Nights. It's in Arcadia up in LA. I will be there giving away passes to Anime Pasadena. And at Anime Pasadena, they have a full-on Power Rangers convention within Anime Pasadena. So it'll be, it will have all your favorite Rangers, all of your extended universe Rangers, premieres, giveaways, everything. It's going to be so dope. So make sure you check that out uh, December 11th and 12th. And tickets are on sale now at AnimePasadena.com. Great question. Will we ever see a cameo from Lightning Cruiser or Mountain Blaster? I doubt it. What's up with the new TMNT series? So I had this idea for found footage because we did a Power Rangers found footage and then I thought it'd be cool to do a Ninja Turtles found footage and um, our producer had the idea for found footage to be an anthology series, which means each episode will be different. So that's what we're filming this Saturday and I'll be Casey Jones. Uh, hey Colin, I was wondering what's Shattered Past <coughs> about? Well, I think that you should go watch it at ShatteredPast.com. So yeah, we have a full Ninja Turtles uh, episode coming out for found footage. I'll play Casey Jones. We got a special surprise cameo by a couple turtles in there. And uh, April will be doing like a news report. So make sure you check that out. That'll be on the NerdBot Studios YouTube. And it's our first Ninja Turtles thing in a couple years. So I'm, Or no, we did character select but it's our first like just ninja turtles thing so make sure you check that out uh hey what's up sean hey colin shout out from michigan shout out from cali how are you doing i'm good i'm really good you guys should do a backstory of a solo series shredder i'll tell you what rich if this one does well i bet we're going to include some more ninja turtles content just in general all right guys i wanted to keep this short thank you so much for tuning in make sure oh hey prop shop garage what's up <laughs> What are the odds? All right, so this is a Red Hood helmet brought to you by xcoaster.com. I tagged them down there. Make sure you check them out. I will be doing another unboxing next week. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be pretty hard to top this. Did you dye your hair or is the lighting different? This is my normal hair. I haven't dyed my hair since I played Nightwing. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out. I will be doing more lives more often because I like talking to you guys and keeping you updated. You guys are the best. And again, if you're in the L.A. area, come cruise out. Me and King Vader are going to kill it over at Dave & Buster's Arcadia for Nerd Nights. It's an anime-themed night. I'm hyped. And uh, also, Anime Pasadena slash Ranger Legacy, December 11th and 12th. I will see you there. And make sure you check out xcoaster.com. You guys are the best. Have a good night.